right, everyone. Hello. I am about a day late. Well, yeah, a couple days late. What am I saying? With everything going on lately, I forgot to look at the ratings from Nielsen. So, we're going to discuss, as usual, New York City. And, of course, my future radio markets of Tampa Bay and Orlando. So, just keep in mind when I'm in Florida... You know I'm not going to be discussing New York City because, you know. But let's just start off with New York City, shall we? And then Long Island, of course. Let's start off with the Big Apple. Number one rated station for the five boroughs. Still remains 106.7 Light FM. It goes from an 8.0 to an 8.5. Q1043 Classic Rock, WAXQ, is up from a 5.9 to a 6.1. Classic Hits 101.1, WCBS-FM, is up from a 5.4 to a 5.6. iHeartMedia Contemporary Hit Radio, C100, goes down from a 6.5 to a 5.5. Media Co. Adult R&B, 107.5, WBLS. Only ticked up from a 5.0 to a 5.1. Red Apple Media Conservative Talk 77 WABC goes up from a 4.0 to a 4.4. iHeartMedia's Hot Adult Contemporary 103.5 WKTU down from a 3.7 to a 3.4. iHeartMedia Conservative Talk 710 WOR down 1.6 to a 1.2. Despite the sign off for News Radio WCBS 880 halfway through the survey, Odyssey News 1010 wins in 92.3 WINS FM holds at a 4.3 share with a steady stream at 0.5. The 880 signal transitioning to WHSQ AM down from a 1.5 to a 0 0.6. So there you have it. Now let's see if we can get to Long Island. Because normally on the day one survey, we know Long Island um, does get those ratings in. So let's talk about WBAB. Despite being the number one rated station for both Nassau County and Suffolk, it drops down from a 9.3 to a 7.9. Followed by Walk 97.5. Tying... For the second place lead. Because again, we don't want to add New York City stations. That's just too much to put into. So Walk is number two for both the Nassau and the Suffolk market. Contemporary Hit Radio 106.1 WBLI goes to third place. 4.2 to a 3.8. Connoisseur Media Countries 103.1 The Wolf WWWF down from a 4.1 to a 3.4. Oldies 104.7 AM 1100 WHLI goes to a 2.0 to a 1.3. So, you know how things work. We're going to see if the ratings dramatically go up during the holiday season. I expect that Walk 97.5 will be number one once we get into later on at the end of this year with the holiday flip coming. Same will imply for 106.7. Now, of course, guaranteed in Tampa Bay, we know that Soft Adult Contemporary Cox 105.5 The Dove, WGUV, goes up in the ratings again from a 10.7 to a 10.9. iHeartMedia's Country, US 103.5 WFUS, will go down from 6.3 to a 6.0. Beasley Country's 99.5 WQYK down from a 6.4 to a 6.0 to tie. So, wow. Looks like the country war in Tampa Bay site. Bite. Not looking so good right now. Two stations playing the same format. It's not really going to help anything. Okay. Cox Adult R&B 101.5 101 The Vibe. WTBV-FM is down from a 6.2 to a 
The stream is up from a 0 0.2 to a 0 0.9. Interesting. Okay. iHeart Adult Contemporary 100.7 WMTX is down from a 6.2 to a 5.7 to a 4.9. Cox Hot Talk 102.5 The Bone will go up from a 3.0 to a 3.7 to a 4.0. I don't want to get into Christian Hot AC. Come on. I enough with that. Thank you. Ugh. Cox Classic Rock 107.3 The Eagle falls from a 6.2 to a 4.5. 98 Rock 4.7 to a 3.8. Beasley's 98.7 The Shark from a 3.0 to a 4.0. Cox Hot AC Magic 94.9 will go down from a 4.5 to a 3.8. However, the stream goes up from a 4.3 to a 4.5. Hmm... Now, here's something good for the Latino people in the Tampa Bay St. Pete market. Rumba 97.5. WRUB moving to 95.7 is up from a 1.1 to a 1.3 to a 1.8. 106.5 classic hip hop the beat down 1.5 to a 1.1 to a 0 0.9 with the weak signal. Lastly, Beasley's Media Rhythmatic Contemporary 94.1 WWLD, 2.9, 3.3, 3.6. iHeart's Contemporary Hit Radio 93.3 WFLZ will go down from a 3.4 to a 2.9 to a 2.7. Okay, and lastly, let's get to Orlando. Now... Let's talk about something interesting going on with 105.9 Sunny FM, Orlando's classic hit station owned by Odyssey on WOCL FM 105.9. It will go down to a 10.5 for this month. Cox Adult R&B Star 94.5 down from a 9.3 to an 8.4. iHeartMedia's Media's Magic 1077 will go up. WMGF will go from a 7.2 to a 7.8. Odyssey's Rhythmatic Throwbacks, 102 Jams, will go up from a 3.2 to a 5.8. Following its flip from Alternative. This is now going to make a tie with 98.9 WMMO. Cox Classic Rock 98.9, also with the same number. iHeartMedia's Contemporary Hit Radio XL 106.7 WXXL FM with its transmitter located in Tavares, Florida, drops from a 6.1 to a 5.1. iHeartMedia's Rock 101.1 WJRR benefits from the demise of Alternative FM 101.9. It will climb up from a 3.9 to a 4.5. Cox News Talk WDBO, 5.3 to a 4.7. iHeart Hot Talk, Real Radio 104.1 WTKS down from a 5.1 to a 4.0. Cox Country, K92.3, WWKA, 4.7 to a 4.0. And you got to remember one thing about Orlando. And not that many people will tell you about this. 97.5 WPCV signal goes into Orlando. So we talk about how, oh, you can never have too much country. Okay, yeah. For Tampa Bay, that's different. They're not anywhere near the transmitter in Polk County. But... Given the 100,000 watt signal is pretty powerful that can go into Orlando, I'm not surprised 92.3's ratings went down. Does that surprise me? Okay, so under 10 minutes. Look at that, how quickly I was able to go through those ratings. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, I I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you all very much for watching.